you you will oh, the slides are open. okay let's start the next session uh the fourth session on post quantum cryptography So the first talk in the session is about the anonymity of NIST PQC round three chems by Keta Xagava. Yep. Yeah, so thank you for the introduction. So can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Let me start. Okay. So thank you for the introduction. So I'm Keta Xagava from MTT Social Informatics Laboratories. So today, so I want to talk about anonymity of gems in uh, NIST PQC standardization. So following the Maram's talk. So let me first talk about the background. So we know that several companies and organizations have been developing quantum computers. So for example, so Google, IBM, and UCSD, and so on. So they constructed the approximately so 100 physical qubits quantum machines. So Google plans to develop a uh, 1 million physical qubit machine in 2030, and IBM plans to develop 4,000 uh, 4, physical qubit machine uh, in 2025. And we also know that the uh, Schwarz algorithm solves the factoring problem and the discrete algorithm problem in polynomial time over quantum machines. And uh, in addition, so according to Disney and Ekara's estimations, so if the error rate is a uh, 0.1% and it runs with about uh, 1 kilohertz, then so it can factor the 248-bit RS modulus by using the two, uh, 20 million physical qubits in eight hours. So that's so if an adversary has efficiently uh, has efficient scalable quantum computers, so then the current public key cryptography will be broken. And the countermeasures are in the right hand side. So the one promising countermeasure is the post-quantum cryptography, so PQC in short. So therefore, so NIST in the US uh, have been standardized uh, PQC primitives. So here, so uh, we have CHEMS and signatures. Four uh, so key, key encapsulation mechanism and signatures. So four CHEMS, so they select the, the four finalists and five alternates uh, in the left hand -right side. So while NIST needs to say that uh, that they would announce the result in March, but we don't hear the result yet. So the standards, uh, so here, so we consider the security of James scheme. And the standard security notion for PKE and CHEM is uh, indistinguishability against the children's hypothetical attack, so uh, the left hand side side. And all new PQC land three CHEMs achieve indistinguishable security in the random local model, a classical random local model. So roughly speaking, so the indistinguishable security implies that we cannot distinguish uh, a cipher text with a real key and a random key. So this K0 is a real key and K1 is a random key in the chem context. So unfortunately, so is the industry security doesn't imply the recipient's privacy. So for example, so let us consider the chem scheme of whose cipher text contains a public key. So in this case, so it, uh, so it can achieve industry security, but uh, such cipher text apparently reveals the recipient. So therefore, so we consider the anonymity, so, so an, uh, so anonymity con against the student cybernetic attacks. So this captures the privacy of recipients. So because of that, uh, so if the adversary so uh, two encryption key, EK0 and EK1, but so he, uh, it cannot distinguish uh, which encryption key is used to generate cybernetic and key. So this is uh, uh, define this defines anonymity of the chem scheme. So they have a lot of applications of anonymity, uh, for example, anonymous credential and auction and anonymous authentic encryption and so on. And, and uh, so privacy enhancing technologies. So uh, we have a natural question of so whether the chem candidates of NIST PQC Land 3 achieve anonym, uh, this anonymity, uh, anonymity in the quantum random color model. Uh, so because we consider the PQC. Uh, so this is uh, uh, the summary of this result in uh, Grabs, Maram, and Pedersen, so in this Eurocrypt. So they study a natural question and uh, obtain the following tables. So this shows that the uh, variant of F FO, this FO with implicit rejection has uh, anonymity, anonymity. And so it with uh, robust hybrid PKEs. But unfortunately, so there's a lot of problems on the four finalists. So for example, the so classic Mercury's uh, doesn't have uh, anonymity. And uh, Kaiba and Saber uh, has no anonymity results. And Entru has no anonymity results. 
So they fortunately show that uh, for the game satisfied in the CCA security in K Q ROM and anonymity in Q ROM and collision freeness in Q ROM and the PKE, uh, the, the results hybrid PKE is also satisfied anonymity. But unfortunately, so we don't know uh, nothing on uh, four finalists on anonymities. So what's the problem? So the problem is uh, so. So uh, roughly speaking, so we need to simulate two decapsulation de de oracle and decryption oracle. So in the case of uh, classical markers, so the they have uh, an obstacle that uh, the classical markers is not collision free. And uh, in the M2 case, so M2 uses SXY, uh, so which uses uh, H of M as uh, to uh, generate key. So this is uh, an obstacle uh, to apply uh, the techniques. And in addition, so they found that tweaks of FO in Kaiba and Seba are obstacles to showing their anonymity, anonymity and even uh, their industry security. So that's so according to this table, so we know nothing on anonymity of four finalists of NIST PQ strands. Okay. So following uh, Grab's uh, study, so we show that uh, the following result. So we use uh, strong shoot randomness uh, instead of uh, anonymous anonymity. So at first, we show that the strong shoot randomness uh, immediately implies anonymity. And next, so we show that, uh, that for uh, chemdem frameworks for strong shoot random hybrid PKs. So roughly speaking, so we show that the SPRCC chem with implicit rejection has uh, some, appro some additional property uh, implies that uh, such SPR hybrid P PKE, and then so we have anonymous PK, hybrid PK. So on robustness, we omit the details, but uh, uh, we can use the robustness results of uh, Grabs et al. And third, so we show that uh, so strongly distant simulatable PK implies the uh, so SPR such strong should run chem schemes. And then, so first, so we apply them to a new speech and three chain. And then we obtain uh, this result. So fortunately, so we uh, show we can show that the anonymity of classical markers and the uh, anonymity of hybrid PK. But so as a, uh, today, so Maram said that, so it fails to uh, achieve a robustness of PK. And we show that the uh, N2 result, N2 like this one, and the bike HQC and uh, N2 and N2 LP N prime and the psych. So unfortunately, so HQC, uh, the one parameter of HQC uh, does, doesn't achieve uh, anonymity also because it weaks the uh, uh, parity of the increase point key. And so additionally, uh, so we note that uh, so, so Bernstein, uh, Dan Bernstein pointed out that the problems would be solved if we employed a Chandler's quantum indifferentiality on uh, such a combination of random oracles. But we, uh, I didn't check the details, but uh, this is a, a promising approach to show, uh, to fill out this question mark as a, by yes mark. Okay, so because of the time limitation, I want to uh, talk about the Point one and point three. Okay. In order to do so, so I I want to review uh, SXY. So SXY uh, is a, a conversion from a deterministic PKE into the industry chem scheme. So let us consider a deterministic PKE uh, J and N and DEC. And we say that PKE is strongly distant simulatable. So if uh, the random uh, are cipher text of random plain text. This one is uh, computationally indistinguishable from a cipher text generated by simulator. And in addition, so we require that uh, such a cipher text generated by simulator is, is uh, rarely lies in uh, a cipher text space of this one. So that is, so we require to this, this or this. So by using such a deterministic PKE, so chem scheme is defined as follows. So in a gen of chem, uh, we first designate the encryption key and the decryption key by using a PKE's gen, and then we additionally choose this, this random sheet. So in encapsulation, we uh, it 
randomly select this first print text, and it encrypts this M by using the EK and obtain a CT. And for a session key of chem scheme, so it uh, computes K as uh, this H of M, and then returns it, returns cipher text and K. So in decapsulation, so uh, receiving a cipher text, it first compute the uh, M prime at the decryption result. Then so it, uh, if the cy receiving cipher text is uh, re-encrypted M cipher text, then so uh, it output the K as a hash of M prime. So otherwise, so it's output the random, a shoot random uh, this K. So this is a, a SXY. So uh, in order to, uh, so the main problem of to show uh, industry security, so we need to simulate the decapitation oracle of chem. So in order to do so, so SXY uh, using this approach. So they uh, define the hash of M as another hash of Q of encryption of EK and M. So by using this approach, so we can simulate uh, decapitation oracle as a HQ of cipher text. And in addition, so if we uh, replace a real cipher text with a cipher text generated by simulator, so then uh, this is, will be looks random uh, from uh, the adversary. So by using this approach, these facts, so uh, SXY uh, proves industry security of chem scheme as follows. So we want to show that this line is equal to this line, a computationally distinguishable this line. So in order to do so, uh, we constant the hybrid games between uh, this, this three, three hybrid games. And so we can uh, show that uh, at first we replace the decapitation oracle with H of Q uh, by simulating the decapitation oracle. Then so we can replace this cipher text with a simulate, uh, cipher text generated by simulator. Then so we can, uh, we can show that this K, real K is indistinguishable from a random K. Then so replacing uh, by using a reverse approach, so we obtain uh, this final line. So this is a fact uh, SXY did in uh, to show the industry security. So by using uh, this approach, so let us consider the uh, fact uh, Graves and Maram and Peterson did. So uh, let us consider the uh, apply uh, Graves and Towards approach to show the anonymous and OCC security uh, on SXY. So in the case, so we need to simulate two decapitation oracle uh, since we don't know uh, DK0 and DK1. So therefore, so in order to do so, so uh, GMP, I use as a, a modifying a hash function as this this one, a K as this one. So instead of H of M, so they use a H of M and C. And so they define the H of MC as a HI of C if uh, encryption of EKI and M is a input cipher text. And otherwise, so it output the H of Q, uh, HQ of C. So by using this uh, de definition, so uh, the decapitation oracle uh, for DK0 is uh, simulated by uh, this H0 of CT and the decapitation Oracle for DK1 is simulated by the H1 of CT. Well, this is a, 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 a grab set towards that approach. So unfortunately, so there's a problem. So this this simulation requires a weak robust, robustness. Uh, so this means that the uh, underlying PKE, so this green PKE is uh, collision freeness. So therefore, so we cannot apply this approach to the crash command classical market list uh, because classical market list is not collision free. And in addition, so uh, to show anonymity, so we need to modify this H, H of M instead of, uh, uh, so we need to modify H of MC instead of H of M. So since M2 uses the original XS square, so this is uh, another obstacle to show the anonymity of M2. So we solve uh, this problem by considering uh, uh, strong pseudo randomness. So here, strong pseudo randomness in, uh, means that uh, this cipher text, pair of cipher text K generated by uh, real encapsulation is indistinguishable from a uh, cipher text generated by simulator and the K uh, chosen from random. And this uh, 
So this is a uh, recap of chemical uh, anonymity. So in, in order to do, uh, in order to show anonymity, an ANOCC security, so we want to show that this and this is a computational indistinguishable. So we consider uh, two hybrid games. So and so in the, uh, the first two lines are uh, computationally indistinguishable so because uh, of strong strong shoulder elements on EK0. And then so we here so we can use uh, DK1. And in this line, so we use DK0, but so this uh, switch of the decapitation key is uh, computationally uh, statistically indistinguishable. Then so we replace uh, this cipher text and k uh, as a real one generated by ek1. So this is uh, justified by the strong shooter randomness on ek1. So therefore, so we can show that uh, this SPR CCA immediately imply an ANO CCA in the chem case. So we want, therefore, so we want to show uh, SXY uh, implies a uh, uh, SPR CCA security. So in order to do so, so we, we uh, back to the industry security of SXY. So this is SXY's approach uh, of hybrid games. And also we want to sh uh, show that SDS, a strong, di strong distance simulatability implies a SPR CCA security of game scheme. So therefore we want to show that this is computationally indistinguishable, this one. So uh, then so we recall that the industry security uh, hybrid games of industry security. So then we uh, obtain uh, this one and uh, we next game and third game, this game. So now uh, seeing this game and this game, so the difference is uh, how to uh, simulate the decap uh, decapitation oracle. So in, in this game, so we use the HQ of Q, but in this game, so real, we use the real DK. But apparently, so we can replace this one and this one uh, because we define so uh, because so this is a uh, corresponding to this approach. So therefore, uh, we just obtain uh, this uh, SPR system security uh, as a uh, industry security of SXY. Okay. Okay. Let me wrap up. So this is a summary. So we show that uh, so in order to consider uh, anonymity. So we first uh, intermediate security notion, so strong shooter randomness. So then so we first show the strong shooter randomness implies anonymity. Then so we construct the KMDM framework for such SPR hybrid PKEs. Unfortunately, so on the robustness, so Grabs et al. already shows that, uh, show such a hybrid KMDM framework. And then so we use the, uh, such a robustness framework. Then so to construct such a SPR CCA chem schemes, so we consider an SXY and uh, HU and HU and so on. Then so uh, we can show that strongly distinguished simulator PKE implies that SPR CCA chem schemes. Then we apply them to NIST PQC round three chems. We then obtain uh, these tables. So uh, as a open problems, uh, we want. Uh, open pro uh, we have two open problems. The one is uh, showing the SPR or uh, strong shoot numbers or anonymity of Kyber, Seba, and the stream, uh, stream brand N2 prime uh, without uh, quantum indefinishability. So this is an uh, open problem by uh, Graph Set 1. And then the second open problem is uh, showing the uh, strong shoot numbers or anonymity of uh, FO uh, tightly uh, as a uh, so, because uh, we obtain uh, such tight industry security in the quantum random oracle models in uh, Binder et al. and Kuchita uh, et al. Okay, thank you. This is. Any questions for the speaker? Okay, let's thank the speaker again and proceed with the next talk.